SEO is one of the most popular services we offer, and it's no wonder when it can drive qualified traffic to your site without the cost of paid advertising. But SEO takes time and expertise to perfect, so don't be fooled into thinking it's easy. SEO, or search engine optimization, is about optimising your website so it performs better in search results. It's about making sure every part of your site is working correctly, it's easy to navigate, and you're sharing relevant, trusted content and linking to other sites. If you're doing all of those things really well, then it's likely you'll get ranked right in search engines. There is a lot to consider to ensure you're performing SEO to the best of your ability. We're going to break it down for you and share our top tips to help you rank well. Firstly, we're going to concentrate on on-page standards. So, what is on-page SEO? On-page SEO is about optimising the content on each of your web pages. Everything from your URL, page titles, subheadings, the main content, images and internal links. Page titles act as the name tag for your web page. They're displayed in search engine results and in your browser tab. They're crawled by search engine robots like Google and read by users. We recommend keeping them under 65 characters so they don't cut off in search results and above 30 characters. Otherwise, anything shorter, Google will pull what it thinks is relevant from that web page and display it as your page title. We also recommend keeping them unique and keyword driven. URLs are a really unique reference for your web pages. They're used by search engines and users to locate your pages. We recommend keeping them under 115 characters so Google finds it easy to read them. We also recommend keeping them keyword driven and descriptive to help with user interaction and link building. The next thing we're going to move on to is subheadings H1 to 6. The key subheader on the page is the H1. It's important that this reflects the page title, the URL and the copy on the page. This is to accurately tell search engines and users what to expect from that page. There's no set length for H1, but we recommend anything under 70 characters to keep it punchy. We also recommend one H1 per page. Further subheaders such as H2s, H3s and so on can be used to break up content and include further related keywords and variation synonyms. The next thing we're going to move on to is page copy. Write the main content to include any um, your main keywords, secondary keywords or any alternatives or synonyms. Write the content using a well-structured language and do not over-optimise. This must flow and be written, written as naturally as possible as opposed to just shoehorning in keywords for the sake of it. Try to include the priority keyword in around 1% of the content. It's important to remember not to create pages with thin content. Word count will depend on the, the type of page, but be aware a major aspect of page authority will be determined by perceived value. Thin content will be marked down, and as a rule of thumb, keep word counts above 300. Now we're going to talk about internal links. An internal link is a link from one page on your site to another, they are used to help people find pages on your site. Remember, link to relevant and important pages or orphan pages. Um, the anchor text, which is this thing here, needs to be keyword driven and relevant to the page you're linking to. Now we're going to move on to image optimization. When optimising your images, remember to keep them under 100 kilobytes. Make sure your file names are keyword driven and your old text. If you found today's video useful and you'd like any more other hints and tips, please sign up to our blog. Poorlycreative.co.uk forward slash blog.